Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Trish Lee from Lee Brain and Spine and my hubby, Dr. Cosmos Lee, will be in to share with you the findings of your QEEG brain map. But first I wanted to kind of frame the map for you so that you understand how to interpret it. And this first sheet that you see in front of you on the screen and you also have a copy of helps you understand what we're looking at on the map in terms of brain speeds. So these are the five main brain speeds that our brains use to be able to get us into different states throughout our day. At the top, you see delta. Delta is extra slow brain speed. It's responsible for restorative sleep when it's working well, and it can cause issues that are due to slow processing speed if it's being used in excess. And on here on the sheet, it says that it has to do with trauma and injury. It's a, per, it's a pattern that is associated with burnout. It can create brain fog and other associated cognitive challenges. Secondly, you see theta. Theta is slow brain speed. It is the biomarker for ADHD when it's being used too much. When it's used properly, it helps us to shift into sleep. Medium brain speed is called alpha. It is responsible for helping us to feel calm when it's being used properly. When it's being used too much, it is associated with depression because you're so calm, you've lost motivation and you're stuck on the couch. And if it's not being used well, it can create underlying anxiety and irritability. Then we move on to beta, which is fast brain speed. It is associated with calm focus, with sustained attention. When it's being used well, if it's being used too much, it's associated with stress and anxiety and overdrive, as is the next speed, high beta, which is extra fast brain speed. It's associated with fight or flight. It creates headaches, pain, muscle tension, difficulty sleeping. So these are the five main brain speeds that we are going to look at on your QEEG brain map. But first, I want to show you one other thing, and that is... So the first sheet shows us that we are going to be looking at brain speeds from extra slow speed to extra fast speed. We are going to be looking at how these speeds are being used across every area of your brain. This is a graphic of what's called the 1020 system. It's an international system that is used by brain professionals to be able to communicate what's happening within any given area of the brain. So on this graphic, you can see that the nose is at the top of the sheet, the ears are on the sides of the head, and then at the bottom is the back of the head. The circles indicate the brain areas. So towards the front of the brain, we see that the circles have the letters F for frontal, C across the middle is for central, that's the sensory motor area of the brain, T towards the sides are the temporal lobes, they're associated with auditory processing and with emotional regulation. In the back is the parietal lobes and the occipital lobes. Cognition and visual processing happen back there. Up in the front, in the frontal lobes, those are very important areas of the brain for many of the people that we work with because they do have to do with working memory, sustained attention here on the left side. In the middle is executive function, which is planning and organization. Here to the right is impulse control and judgment. So these areas will be discussed when we review your map with you. Okay, so let me show you what your map looks like. Your map will look like this. Let me move my head out of the way here and we'll make it just a little bigger so we can see it. Okay. So what you can see on this graphic, and this is what your map will look like, green is in the middle of these bars. And the bars that go across are standard deviations of performance. Green is in the middle, that's optimal performance. So on this map, and this is an example, you can see that there's many areas that are green. It means that those areas of the brain are doing exactly what we want to see them do. The areas that are white, it means that those areas are performing four times too much of the speed. And you can see the speeds names down below the circles. These circles are the heads of the representation that I just showed you in the 1020 system. Here to the left, there's two bands of delta, delta one and delta two. 
that's that extra slow processing speed. You can see it's white in the frontal and the side left. That means those areas are performing four or more times above what they should be doing. Then when we go across, you can see theta also has the same indicator. Alpha's medium speed, we see a little bit there. And then finally, more towards the right here, we have betas. Betas are those fast and extra fast speeds. In the betas, you can see there's some blue, which means that that processing speed in alpha and beta for calm focus is running low in those areas. When we see light blue, it's one to two levels too low. When we see dark blue, it's three or more levels too low. That's how we interpret the heads on the map. White is four or more levels where we see red and yellow. That's one to two to three levels too high of a speed. Looking down below, you can see lines which reflect communication between brain areas. There should be no lines on your map. If you see white lines, again, it means that there's excessive use of hypercommunication between brain areas. And a way that I describe that, if you look at your 1020 system graphic, that each one of these circles, areas of the brain, are like a football player. And they all have to communicate together to be able to perform plays and win the game. If it's white or red, everybody's jumping around looking for help. And that comes, out, comes from stressed out players who are not feeling confident about holding their position. So really it's a reflection of what the colors are doing up top, but it shows us where there's weaknesses in communication. When we see blue, it means there's low communication in those areas. And it's because those players are using too much slow processing speed and they're falling asleep at the wheel. Okay, so I hope this helps you interpret your map and understand it. And we look forward to being able to help you optimize your brain pattern so that you can feel and perform your best. Thanks.